Hi, it's Victor from SecPoint.com with a portable penetrator and the question is how can I launch real exploits and hack into a system? So you can see here we have the web interface and uh, I'm just minimizing it and I click on the desktop the Armitage icon and now it is loading up the interface and we need to connect to the SQL server and you just click connect because it already has all the correct values. I click the OK button and now it is starting up. So the Armitage is an easy interface to the Metasploit framework where I can easily launch exploits. And now I'll just clear the host menu here. Okay. And then I go to MSF scans and here, for example, you can put in a local network, you can put in the C class and scan the whole network, and we'll do that on this uh, test network. And when you're doing the scan of a whole network, that can take a few moments to do. And we can see here it has launched the discovery modules, and now it is uh, just uh, loading. And if you go right click and you go to auto layout, and you select none, then you can more easily take the icons and, and put them the way you want it. So now it is scanning all the IP addresses right here. And we can see it has found many IP addresses. So we're just waiting a few moments. So it's scanning all the IPs and I drag them out so you get a clear overview. And once it has finished scanning all the IP addresses and identified everything, then we go to the attacks menu where you can go to find attacks and find exploits on the different IP addresses. In the future when you're watching this video, Everything will be done via the Hail Mary menu where you also simply select by port. So now I go to find attacks and by port and this can take a few moments. And now it is scanning all of them and when it has completed, when I right click uh, an IP address, a box here, I will get an extra exploit menu. And also remember, when you're launching real exploits, only attack your own systems. Or, for example, if you're doing a penetration test for a client or customer, make sure you have a written permission before you launch the exploits. When you're launching the exploits, you're actually doing real hacking uh, into a system. And of course, you need to have permission to do that. Also, please note, when you are attacking a system, launching an exploit, for example if it's a web server, when you're launching the exploit, it might crash the web server. So that means you only have one chance to get into the system and then they must restart the service that you're exploiting before it becomes normal again. So if you want to do a security test on a network, but you don't want to crash anything, then it is recommended you are doing the vulnerability scanning instead. So uh, now let's see here if we got the attack menu yet. Yes, and <clears throat> we can take an IP address I have here. This is a Linux and I can go to attack menu and here we can see the different attacks or I can go to the exploits icon and we can see it's a Unix uh, Linux system and uh, we can go to MISC and here's a uh, favorite exploit that is easy to launch. You double click launch and then you see it has hacked it and you can go to shell interact and join so thank you for watching this video presentation